Welcome Protege. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to use the loft feature. And to showcase that we're going to create a flower vase such as this one here. Now one way to create this vase is to do a revolve like we discussed in a previous tutorial. But another way to go about designing this object is to use the loft feature. So if we go under create and then just hover over loft, it says that it creates a transitional shape between two or more sketch profiles or planar faces. So what we have to do is create these faces and then that will allow us to use the loft command. To show you how we completed the flower vase, I'm going to start a new sketch. Now flower vases come in all different shapes and sizes. But if you look at the one we're using, this has a smaller diameter base at the bottom. It gets a little wider towards the middle. And then the top or opening of the vase is smaller but a little bit larger than the bottom of, of the vase. So to start out, we're going to create the, the bottom circle to create the base. So I'm going to create a center diameter circle on the top plane. And we'll make this three inches in diameter. So I'll stop sketch. So now that we have the bottom circle, we have to create the middle circle. So the middle of the vase is a little bit wider. I'm going to construct an offset plane. And this will be offset from five inches. And now we can create another center diameter circle on this plane. And we'll make this one five inches in diameter. Stop sketch. And finally, I'm going to create the last circle to create the opening of the vase. And again, we have to construct another offset plane. Click on the circle you just created. And this will be a three inch offset. And now we can create the final center diameter circle. And we'll make this one four inches in diameter. So stop sketch. Next, you, we're going to use the loft tool and that's under create. And now we can start selecting the sketch profiles which are the three circles that we just created. Click OK and then let's look at it th from the side. And yes, this does look like a flower vase, but we want to give it more contours. And one way to do go about that is to use the spline tool, which is under sketch. I'm going to control Z that loft and we'll start creating the splines. And to do that, I'm going to go back into each one of these sketches and create a construction line. So we can have a spline that runs along the side here and then another spline that runs along the side here. I'll go back to the first circle that we drew. Click on the line tool and then over here in the sketch palette, click on construction. Then I'm going to perform a few constraints to make that construction line straight. So that one looks like it's defined. So I'll stop sketch and do the same on the other circles. Okay, we have our three construction lines, one on each of the circles. So now I'm going to go under sketch and choose spline. We're going to do a fit point spline. And I'll do this on the front plane. Click the check mark 
and then draw the spline on the opposite side. And then let's look at the front view. And now we can start dragging these points to give the vase the contours that we're looking for. Okay, that, that looks pretty good. So we'll give these splines some dimensions. Now we can stop sketch. Let's look at the orthogonal view. Let's go to our loft tool and choose these three circular planes again. So we have our profile selected and now under under rails we want to select the splines that we just created. So let's look at the front view and now we have those contours on the vase. But if we look at the top view, you'll notice that it's not symmetrical. We really only have those contours on the left and right sides of the vase. So to fix this, we can add, add splines here and here. So I'll cancel that. And then we can add this, the two extra splines to try to make it more symmetrical. And to do that, I'm going to go back into each sketch for these circles and draw another construction line. One that is perpendicular to the previous construction line that we drew. Okay, we have those three construction lines now and we can go ahead and do the same that we did with the spline tool except this time we're going to draw on the right plane and then we can go ahead and define these splines. Stop the sketch and then let's use the loft tool again. And now we can specify the four splines that we created. That looks a lot better. So the final touch would be to shell out the flower base. And we showed you how to use shell in the previous tutorial. So you just Click on the top face here, specify the thickness, we'll just give it 0.2 inch thickness. Click OK. And now we have a hollowed out base that we can actually maybe 3D print and actually use. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below or leave a question or comment.